So we're with Glenn Strzok and he's explaining this beautiful undertaking that he's doing with this mural project on West Alameda. And why don't you tell a little bit about it, Glenn? Well, it's it's not just my project, really. It wasn't even my idea, actually. Okay. Um, the uh, county representatives from Team Court, they contacted me and said, you have done a mural at La Familia Medical Center about uh -huh. 20 years ago, <laughs> and we like that mural, yeah. and we're wondering if you would work with the kids at Team Court. And yeah. I'm a narrative painter by trade, so let's find a narrative that relates to them, and it'll be their story, and, and we'll pull something from our own history, from yeah. their, you know, cultural history. So I had this story I'd been working on with the uh, state historian, uh, Rick Hendricks, about a fellow named uh, Tomas Feliz Cachupin. And he was the governor of New Mexico in 1750. And he was a young man, about 31 years old. And he'd been a cavalry officer. And the Spanish had been here about 300 years since the conquest. Yeah. And he had realized that they were never going to succeed in building community with military means and it was brilliant he's a brilliant visionary and, yeah. and so he said there had to be a change and the way to change was to approach the the raiders and fighters of, of the native peoples the Comanches Apaches and the Utes okay. and and offer them a peace offer and offer them gifts and invite them to build mixed blood communities and stop raiding the Pueblos yeah. and, uh, and build the mixed blood communities. Well, the Comanches thought, hmm, it's kind of interesting, especially if you give us gifts. Yeah, uh -huh. So he gave them gifts and they were at a trade fair in Taos where they were selling human trafficking. They were uh -huh. selling women and children. Uh, and uh, he, he said, surrender your, your prisoners, take these gifts and let's build communities and stop raiding. So they said, okay. So three months later, they raided Pecos Pueblo. Hmm. And That's so not good. the governor had about 50 men, and uh, he took men from the Pueblo, native men from the Pueblo, yeah. and together they followed the Comanche Trail for six days and nights. And they found them at San Diego Pond. And at San Diego Pond, when they discovered their camp, the Comanche said, We have more men than you do. Yeah. We have 300. And they said, let's take these guys. So they attacked the governor and his men, but much to their surprise, the governor and the men from Pecos were fierce uh -huh. uh, They killed about a hundred of the Comanches and drove yeah. them into the pond where the Comanches hid in the reeds. And it was October, okay. so they're in waist deep water. It's pretty cold. Pretty cold. And so as sun went down, the, the governor got off his horse. He said, this is ridiculous. See, we're same, same, same old, same old. Yeah. We've got to stop this. If you'll have the courage to trust me and come out, I'll forgive everything. I'll forgive all the murders, the thefts, everything. Yeah. And we, let's do as I asked you. Yeah. Well, they said, yeah, it's a trick. It's a trick. They didn't have the courage to come out. But about midnight, a 16-year-old boy named Antonio he was wounded in the foot, fashioned a cross out of the reeds in the swamp, wow. and came out. And the governor built a fire, tended his wounds, fed him, and the rest of the Comanches saw that, and they began to surrender. Wow. Until only the chief and a few of his warriors were left, and, and they fought and were killed. Uh -huh. But he then was good to his word, and he took them to their camp and, went and released them and said, come back with your prisoners. Sur Bring your prisoners back and let's build towns, villages, and pueblos with mixed families. So this is really the true story of how New Mexico developed mixed blood communities in peace. This was the it start. It really was a shapeshifter. Wow. It really was a seed of change. And so it wasn't perfect. Yeah. After that, we had military governors who came and went. But at least we began to take root. It was a start. Yeah, it was a start. And so uh, and the you're governor. You're depicting this on the on the walls right, here. Right, and the in this key story. figure is the young is a 16 year old boy Antonio who uh -huh. came out of hiding, and he, you know, he he was running with the bad guys, with the gangsters, but he came out had the courage to make a change, yeah. and so he's depicted handing a seed of change to the governor, Beautiful. 
And so then the governor buries the sword, you'll see the sword buried there, and changes it for plowshares, and they begin to plant seeds of community with mixed blood families, Native Americans, Hispanics, and Anglos. And then here we have Antonio ultimately with the governor planting a tree of life that, that is unique to New Mexico and the tree bears all kinds of fruit, all kinds of diversity. And so... And do you have any estimate when this will all be done? The end of this month. End of, you're going to have it done by the end of this yeah. month? Wow. Yeah. Come check it out. So nice.